Stories activity is a simple but effective way to gather stories from people to discover how they are feeling in the present and for them to reflect upon the distance they have travelled. It's an interesting and creative way to record and measure impact using the structure of a narrative or series of events. This activity can be done as a one-to-one or conducted as part of a group. It can be a creative way to get a group discussing an issue or an event that has happened that has affected them in some way. For example, COVID. It's also possible to do the journey stories activity online. Everyone has their own life journey and life experiences and therefore people can easily relate to each other and their journey stories. Using journey stories as a way of measuring impact allows the person to reflect on the distance they've travelled. It can be used to help build personal development for an individual to see how far they have come. Finding out where they started, what they found on the way and the end of the journey or where they are now in their future direction. This activity is very personal and reflective, making it very empathetic. And it is a creative way to measure the impact and to gather anecdotal evidence about how people feel about an issue, a service, a project or an organisation. And it can be carried out at the beginning of a project or throughout service delivery. It can also help to connect people, helping them to find common themes, thoughts, feelings and life events. The resources needed for this activity are paper printouts with five questions and boxes attached to each question. This allows the person to write or draw their thoughts, feelings about their personal story. The activity simply asks five questions. The first question, the ordinary world. What was your world like before the journey? The second question, the first steps. What started or initiated the journey? The third question, initial thoughts. What did you think and feel at the start? The fourth question, challenges. What problems or barriers have you encountered? How were they overcome? And then the fifth question, the reward, future. What was the positive outcome or achievement? Where are you going next? There needs to be certain things in place to help the journey stories work well. First, the story gatherers must have good facilitation and interpersonal skills. Depending on the group or the individual they are working with, there may be some very personal subjects, themes and issues that come up and the facilitator will need to be prepared for this and have support in place for this accordingly. Adequate time is needed to apply the activity so that individuals can really explore their past, present and possible future. This can be used as a one-off activity, possibly at the start of a project, or possibly at the beginning and at the end to gain insight, to see what impact the project or service has had upon the individual or the group. And it can be used as an ongoing activity throughout the project or service. 